Electronica has maintained a strong influence on Madonna over the last 18 years, establishing her as an icon in dance clubs around the world. I know lots of people that are DJs, I know lots of club owners, I know I have a record company um, and I end up checking out a lot of DJs because for remixes for my stuff. I wrote La Isla Bonita and it was, you know, that was it. You know, I always tell people that I'm, I'm sure I was Latin in another life. I mean, I'm half Italian, so I suppose I am Latin. But um, I always end up writing Spanish songs or songs that have a Spanish flavor to them. And I'm, I don't know, I love Latin music and I love Spanish. I love flamenco, I love Spanish guitars, I love all that stuff. I think I was a gypsy in another life. Madonna's forays into film acting have drawn more criticism than praise, but her role in 1996 as Eva Perone in the musical Evita was an award-winning performance. To say to you. As with her music, Madonna has always taken the utmost care in choosing the producers of her videos, considered some of the most eye-catching in the business. Nirwaz Ahmadzai. He'd been refining his techno house sound in his tiny Paris studio for more than a decade until eventually it gave birth to disco science. My uh, strong influence were very American music. That is the underground music. Uh, that is me, the Stooges, the Velvet Underground. And also we discover the European sound from uh, from Kraft. They, they 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 invented a new genre and uh, and um, a new vision of disco. This was what led Madonna to him. The video to Disco Sound made by his friend, the director Stefan Sednawi. I asked him to send to Maverick because he, he knows someone to Maverick, um, the boss of Maverick guy, Guy Osler, and uh, he played to uh, to Madonna. And uh, she loved it, and she told me uh, very quickly. In musical term, she's underground, like me. It's difficult to uh, to understand that, but uh, for me, it's the truth. I want to pre uh, to be very precise about that. You know, it, she's not looking after the fashion. She's looking after the the new thing. You know, because she needed it, like me. But is Mirwaz also riding the crest of a wave of international interest in French dance music? After decades of languishing in the pop doldrums, France is producing world-class names like Daft Punk, Air and Mojo, not to even mention its rap and hip-hop artists. English journalists didn't know very well France. And uh, with the channel, a lot of people from England... The channel uh, travel? Yes, uh, they, they travel more. And they, they realize that France, and especially Paris, uh, could be a cool city. French people got it going on right now. Mirway, Mondino, everybody. But there's influences from French music from the 60s and the 70s on the album as well. Across the water, the man who first helped Madonna establish her dance music credentials is even more passionate in his love of technology. It's the idea of all this 
humming, throbbing stuff, all communicating, all interconnected, all the electrons flying around, you know, in a multitude of paths, this whole matrix of, of electronic activity going on there behind the scenes. And I'm, I'm, electro I'm not an electronics guy, so a lot of it's a mystery to me. And I look at these things, and they're kind of glowing, and they're warm, and all this activity's happening. And then finally, out the speakers comes the music. When Madonna hooked up with William Orbit on her Ray of Light album, He'd already worked with a roll call of artists that most producers could only dream of. Blur, Sting, Prince, Peter Gabriel, Human League, Kraftwerk, the list goes on. Set trends and don't follow them, and that's something that may sound uh, difficult, but in fact you just have an inter-confidence thing. It's just not to, to, to look at trends, is to, to do what you think is right, and chances are you, you will find people will follow you. And that's something that Madonna, I think, has always had as her philosophy, and working with her, I possibly strengthen my, my resolve to do the same thing. But for both men, technology is not all. If you're in a nightclub and you're dancing and you're feeling kind of good, I mean, it doesn't matter. That's, it's a kind of body thing, you're just going for it. Um, you're going to sit there and listen to your hi-fi system, you need a bit more than that. And sometimes techno falls short in that respect. You know, I know, I, I'm not going to name any names, but I can think of some bands who I think really had a chance to make a mark, and they didn't really fit in there. The acoustic track, huh? Uh, was a, the, we did from scratch, you know, and uh, for me, this track are the most modern with him, because uh, it's, uh, this track are not the most impressive track on the album, but uh, there is a lot of modernity in this, in this track. Uh, I mean, um, if you uh, um, if you talk about uh, electronic, uh, it uh, for me it is a it is a next step. And I feel like I'm, a, I'm at the kind of junction of science and melody. You know, there's this kind of art and there's commerce and there's science and there's communication. And somehow I seem to have, without making a conscious effort, landed in the middle of it now. I just won't try to think it any, think it through any further than that because I just want to be swept along. special edition of World Beats. From Sham Ambia Varga in Europe and from me, Brooke Alexander in New York City, we will leave you with one more moment of material magic from the music of Madonna.